Hi guys, welcome to another Keyshot tutorial. My name is Liam Martin and in this video I'm going to show you how to add a colour accent onto your materials in Keyshot. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, you might have seen this image that I uploaded of a OnePlus 7 Pro render that I did. In this scene I mimicked the effect on the back of the 6D McLaren edition and created this orange glow around the edge of the handset. In Keyshot, you can see the effect a little bit more. So the orange glow only appears when light reflects off it. So as I move the camera around, you'll see how the orange glow appears as it picks up the light. So this is a really interactive material and the effect works great when you get it right. We're so going to the material graph. I've started with a black hard shiny plastic to make this material and everything around here is the labels and smudges but the four things we want to concern ourselves with are the modules here if i delete those out we'll start again from scratch first thing we want to do is add some color and set the color for our glow if you right click and go to textures you could use a color gradient uh, if you want it to fade from one color to another i'm going to use spots and the reason i'm going to use this is because we're going to have an orange highlight with some small patches of yellow in there uh, to add some variety. You could also go to the color library and add something in. In spots, I'm going to double click, hit C on the keyboard to see how that's mapped. The color of the spots I'm going to have as yellow. That's going to be the uh, variety in there. And the background I'm going to have as orange. I'm then going to tweak this. So I'm going to increase the density and the radius of the spots. If I increase this as well, add some fall off to this. And I think that's probably about right. So we've got these yellow areas around the side uh, that are going to show up in the glow. Hit C to come out of that preview. I'm then going to add a color gradient in, and that's because in the uh, handset that I'm trying to mimic, the orange glow only occurs around the side and bottom. It doesn't happen in the top half of the phone. So I'm going to right click, go to textures and color gradient. Hit C on the keyboard, see how that's mapped. And then I'm going to change this. Defaults black to white, which is what we want. And then we can move that so it goes from the light color up to black. Okay, so anything up here won't have the orange glow on it. I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. We then want to combine these two uh, using a color composite module. So if you right click, now go to utilities and color composite, we can combine these by plugging spots into source, color gradient into background. If we double click on the color composite and change it to uh, change the blend mode to multiply, if I hit C on that, you'll see what we're doing. So we've got uh, the orange now uh, and the yellow fading to black black where the effect won't show. Now uh, for my situation, uh, and because I only want it around the edges, I'm gonna use curvature. Now you don't necessarily have to use this if you want to put the effect uh, on a different surface, but because I've got rounded edges, uh, I'm gonna use the curvature module. So I'm gonna right click, utility, uh, texture, sorry, and go to curvature. And I'm going to use this uh, texture here from the color composite module and plug that into the positive curvature. So if I hit C on the keyboard, we've now vaguely, here's the positive curves around the edge, got this orange coming in. If I play with the settings within here, you'll see it more. So as I bring the cut off down, okay, there's the orange and yellow coming in, fading to black. And if I increase the radius, there uh, you'll see how it tails off a bit so it's not going to be so sharp if i hit c on the keyboard i can then plug this into the specular of the plastic or if you've got specular on your material that's where you want to plug it into and that should complete the effect okay so now we've got the orange highlight and it only works when light reflects off it you can see it a little bit when there's not but i suppose that's realistic that is the end of this tutorial, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, get subscribed, and let me know what you thought about it in the comments section down below. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.